Hi, welcome in. Just want to share this quick, interesting patient that I had last week. So this is a teenager that came in with lots of ear infections in the past and telling me that last week she started to have more discomfort in her ear. So look in her ear, expecting some wetness, but it's actually this very, very dry substance that um, that's kind of why I have to use what's called a cup forcep. So really delicate work because her ear canal was so tender because it's so, so dry in there. I mean, there's almost no moisture in this earwax. So I'm kind of peeling it off the ear canal, but um, I did get a hearing test on her. So I'll kind of pull this up on the screen here. So it's your first time seeing an, an audiogram. Um, just in short, red is right side, blue is left side, but you can kind of notice there's two lines um, with the red and the blue. So one up top, maybe at the five decibel, and then one at the bottom around 20 decibels. And all in all, what this tells me is that she has what's called a conductive hearing loss, meaning that something about her eardrum or what's past the eardrum, her ear bones called the ossicles are not moving well. And with someone with a history of ear infection in the past, the first thing that's going through my mind is, does she have cholesteatoma, which is skin cells that get trapped in the middle ear. And as I clean her out, uh, I'm, I'm kind of talking with her and her dad that I'm like, oof, I'm not sure. I mean, this eardrum does not look healthy at all. Um, you normally with eardrums, you're it will see through it. And for her, it's just this white, thick glob of stuff there. Um, and I'm going to actually show you the other side here, which also has the same exact appearance. So she's been actually having ear problems for her, her whole life. So I was very frank with them that um, I have high suspicions that this might be something more sinister, like a cholesteatoma. So I'm going to see him next week with the CT scan that um, we'll have, and I'll re review it with them. But fingers crossed that this is just a thickened scar band on her eardrum, but we'll have to wait and see. Hope this was interesting. Love to hear any feedback, and thanks for all your support. Bye.